Okay. Hello, everybody. Welcome to another talk for Grace Seri. I would like to introduce Dr. Ruli um, first. Uh, Dr. Ruli is the Director of Software Engineering for Spectron MD, which is an innovative medical device company using AI technology. Dr. Ruli plays a major role in building the, the in building the deep VO AI software system for the medical devices. And she provides leadership and guidance to the software engineering department, overseeing the work and procedure. Her responsibility encompasses defining the technical direction for the department and ensuring that the ensuring that software development practice comply with industry standards and regulation as well as consistently enhancing the software development process. Dr. Ruli is a co-founder of eBlueFly, which is a, um, a startup company specializing in social media-based resale e-commerce software solution and services. Dr. Ruli earned her PhD in computer science from Missenko, where her research was dedicated to enhancing software usability and human computer interaction through machine learning driven analysis of usage data. Prior to her PhD, she obtained a master's degree in, in computer science from China. Thank you so much. Thank you, GT, for introducing me. Uh, nice meeting you all tonight. Uh, it's my pleasure to have this feature for Grace uh, Theory Talk. Uh, okay. okay. So, uh, tonight uh, I want to share my story and some library prints from these four aspects. How I pursue higher education and also design my career path, climb my, climb my uh, career ladder, and uh, how I invest in my personal life, and uh, maybe uh, how I keep health in my, my body and my mental. Uh, back when I was in high school, uh, after attending the, the college entry exam and received my scores, so we all have to apply for the schools and the majors. And uh, you know, uh, most times this uh, good major the competition is very hard. So the school or the major may not select you, and they may arrange you to the different major. So that's the case that exactly happened on me. So I planned for computer science major, but I was finally drilled to the chemistry engineering. That's totally different majors. But look, uh, we didn't have a choice of, of the last possibility to change our major. So I have to accept that, that the decision and I went to college. And uh, while I was in the college, I started searching of the possibility to study computer science knowledge. And uh, one year later, I noticed that uh, there was a minor in the computer science department. It called a uh, computer application and maintenance. So without any hesitation, so I applied for the minor and also uh, applied uh, um, also registered the courses. So this minor required uh, 10 courses uh, to be completed in two years. And that means that I have to work very hard for my major and minor. So I can get I could get my bachelor degree and this minor certificate. So normally I work on I work on my major during the week days and my minor for weekend. And look at I didn't have any much time to take uh, to take a rest. And also, you know, I had I had to purchase a computer. Back to 1990, the computer was still very expensive. I need a computer to practice coding, programming. So finally, I saved some money from uh, my little expense. Also, I purchased that computer with my classmate. So we we shared that computer. I used that computer to practice coding, programming, and learning 
and they need uh, computer uh, science related knowledge. Hey, you can send computer to play video games. Later, I also noticed that he also studied with the computer science knowledge. So I'm um, I was really curious to ask why he stopped playing video games. They told me because he realized how hard I work on learning uh, technique or he wanted to learn from me. So that made me very happy. So when you strive to change your destiny, uh, destiny, meanwhile you also can bring some of the positive influence on other people. That's really amazing. So after uh, I graduated from college, so I found a job as an entry level developer in a software company. Well, the day I noticed that uh, I couldn't handle my work well, uh, just using the knowledge or technique I learned from my manager. So I decided to pursue my higher education and a master's degree uh, in computer science. And uh, I didn't want to quit my job. I needed financial in income. So I, I worked uh, uh, for my job during, uh, during uh, weekdays. And uh, during weekend, uh, I prepared the graduate entry exam. Unfortunately, the first time I failed in the entry uh, exam. And uh, it doesn't matter, I didn't give up. So I continue to prepare this entry exam more harder. And me, I still work uh, with my job. A second time, uh, you know, I successfully passed this graduate entry exam. I was accepted as a graduate student in computer science major. So after I got my uh, master degree in computer science, so I also found a good job in Beijing, China, the capital. You know, that they fit in the big city, the capital uh, China. And uh, also with good pay. And I also got the Beijing citizenship. A lot of Chinese, uh, most of Chinese people know, uh, you know, Beijing Hukou can bring you a lot of benefits. So when you have the Beijing Hukou, you're allowed to work in the government uh, or government owned companies. Uh, you also uh, can, you know, uh, eligible to purchase a car, purchase a property, register your own company, even your, uh, your piece, education can be saved a thousand dollars each year. So uh, also after I moved two years, I also purchased a condo in Beijing. And you know, Beijing housing was also very expensive. So what I want to say here, if you look at that time, uh, I had a very nice, comfortable life, but I don't know why I, I wasn't satisfied with that type of life. I, I still had that feeling there was another level of life I can achieve, pursue. So, uh, you know, during my work, I had a lot of chances uh, to collaborate with some colleagues. They came from a uh, uh, foreign country, uh, for, for training they came from foreign countries. And also, they uh, some also returned from about studying with higher education. So they bring, brought me a lot of different things. So their perspective to the life, to the career, are different, uh, are different impact. And also their achievement, uh, all the all impressed me so much. Look at that. I really admire that type of person. So. I made a decision and, uh, to pursue my PhD degree in computer science in the uh, US. So again, I didn't want to quit my job. And uh, I, need, uh, I need money to support myself, but I prepare everything during the weekend and also during the night. And uh, after one year, the English preparation and also the application. So I finally applied to 10 university in Iran. Unfortunately, I didn't get any offer. I only get two admissions of white from SMU and uh, no any financial support. So let me make that. I may need to spend all my savings to pay my tuition and living expenses. And uh, 
possible, I may need to start my condo to make a make a make a, to make a living. And I find that I could accept the admission from uh, SMU. And, and my family and the friends, they uh, look at uh, they question and say that why you give up a kind of a comfortable life, not a life, and to pursue an uh, uncertain life in a different country. But uh, I, I really knew what I was doing. Well, uh, to invest myself for another high level life, I think uh, deserve spend this money, deserve financial sacrifice. And uh, so, uh, with this admission, so, uh, for all the foreigners in China, if we want to come to America, we have to we have to go to the American embassy to apply for our visa. Unfortunately, my visa, my visa is to reject the terms. I I am not the reason, but just guys, because at that time I was single. Also, uh, I'm already about thirty. So. Hospital visa officials found my motivation purpose was to come to America. It's not for not to pursue higher education. Possible, maybe I want to find a guy, American guy, get married and get my green card. That's the possible reason I was rejected. Also, normally if your visa was rejected twice, you may have less chances to get your visa at least in that year. Uh, to be frank, that's the first time of my determination week I struggled. Whether, whether I still want to go to America, but it was hard for me to give up. So I, I just talked to myself, let us try to help. So I hired a uh, about study consultant. She helped me just uh, protect. Uh, practice uh, all kind of the uh, interview questions uh, and also uh, in English, also special for my case. Uh, one was uh, dedicated training. So I went to uh, American University again to get my visa. Well, it's amazing this time I got my visa. I was really excited. At that time, I couldn't, I couldn't believe I, I could get my visa. So when I got my visa, so, even I was really happy, I know another part of life uh, was coming. So I uh, came to America for my PhD study. The first year in SMU was very hard. You know, I couldn't understand the teacher in class very well. I also couldn't communicate with the class with the classmates and the teacher because my English was not good. Also, you know, we were we were trained a lot in China how to write write or read English, but less in speaking English and listening in English. And um, I also, you know, I was accepted as a PhD student uh, conditionally. I had to pass two exam with a B plus grade. So all of that couple, I was really stressful. Uh, what I can do, definitely not to give up. And, uh, so I, I, I just work hard. I work hard. So I request that we do records from all my classes and uh, repeat it, you know, all these uh, videos until I understand each detail that the teacher taught. And also try to reference uh, different uh, textbooks to understand the knowledge uh, and to enhance my understanding to each uh, Knowledge uh, to each uh, each uh, uh, what uh, the teacher mentioned uh, in class, and uh, at the end of the the first semester, you know, no. because of my hard work, I got uh, A grades for all my classes and the exams. I also got a uh, uh, highly uh, good uh, compliment from my two teachers because of my excellent performance in uh, the classes. And uh, I also got a research assistant position with my favorite uh, uh, professor. So let, it, just, uh, let me feel if you work hard, insist in the uh, pursue your goal, eventually 
you can get it. But it doesn't mean that I realized my dream because uh, as a PhD student, you know, that's just a PhD student. There is another tough journey for my PhD study. And, uh, you know, uh, PhD study, you know, if you are a PhD student, if you also imprint the PhD uh, process, you know, PhD study process is kind of stressful, also exhausting. Young advisors just get you to that research area. Mostly, you are on your own. You have to identify the problem, resolve them, and then publish your uh, solution to be acknowledged by some peers. This process is not easy. So, uh, I was stuck in my research for the first two years. I I didn't have any ideas how I can make a breakthrough in uh, my advisor's research area and uh, no an idea. At that time, also, uh, one of my classmates, she quit her PhD. She found a new job in industry. I also thought about that maybe I can I could do the same as she did. But no, no, no. You know, I'm, I know who I am. I'm that kind of person, if I cannot reach to my goal, I will not give up. So for me, keep working hard. So for me, very normal working in my lab, nine, seven, what it means, nine o'clock in the morning, nine, until nine o'clock at night, seven days for a week. That's my PhD life. So gradually, you know, I, I identify some problem I can address in my uh, research area. So once you have some idea to your research, that means you have some direction you can move forward to. So after another two years of hard work, I can include my ideas and solution into papers and uh, uh, submit them to the journal. So then, I was uh, worried uh, for all the response and the results. So possibly your people will be rejected or require multiple revisions. That may, that may take a longer time, one year, and uh, to you know allow you to to handle all this. And uh, I had worried by the principle with a journal. So we we wait for almost four months and we got the response. My paper research error didn't fit their uh, journal scope. What? No. It look at the wait for four months, ended up uh -huh. with nothing. So I, I was really frustrated. So I, I just told my advisor, I want to publish my paper just in a conference. I was so eager to publish this paper. I really appreciate his heart at that time as an encouragement. He told me he saw the value of this journal, this paper. He believed this paper can be published in a good uh, journal. So we got the link to try some uh, other journals. Finally, my paper was accepted by a high ranking journal. So here I really want to highlight one point. So when you are facing multiple choices, please choose the best choice. Even you have to maybe depend on uh, the difficulties or spend more time or effort. But the best choice will bring you long term benefit. So why is that? Because later this paper really greatly contributed uh, the success for my EB1 green card application. This paper because was published in high ranking journal. So it was cited more than 60 times just in two years yeah. and also cited by different scholars from different countries. So if I then have up, I just submitted it to the SOSO uh, conference. I don't think it can bring me this benefit. So that's the uh, some experience I I learned. So um, conclude my journey journey to pursue my higher education. So here are, there are some points I want to share with you all. So I believe I, I knowledge can change people's destiny. 
Also, I say to you that you should the only person to control your destiny. Your family may say this, may say you something, your friend may say you something, but you know what you should do. And also, you need to set the goal for your life and work hard to pursue your goal. Eventually, you will get to that goal. And also, sometimes we are really kind of very satisfied with our current life, but we should have kind of uh, thinking, maybe we need to stand outside our comfort zone and then take some new challenges and uh, then our personal uh, life can be improved or developed. Uh, nothing is impossible if you believe you will make it and insist in working on it. Also, never forget why you started and your mission can be accomplished. So uh, now I want to share some of my career experience and how I grow my career. Currently, I'm the director for the software engineering department in uh, Spectral MD. Spectral MD is a company uh, is building and developing uh, um, AI and medical devices. And uh, when I work in uh, Spectral MD, I was an intern. After three months, I Become a, I became a full-time employee. And then uh, later, two years later, I was uh, promoted to the lead. And uh, very shortly, I was promoted to the manager. And also two years later, I was promoted to the uh, sub-engineering department director. So here I want to share some uh, important points uh, about how I handle my career. First, you know, no matter where you are on your career development, remember continuous learning and self improvement are very crucial to your career development. Even I got my PhD degree in computer science. Why I start working on building and developing a medical device software? It, uh, this software requires high quality. So I know a lot of technicals and skills, domain knowledge that I had to learn and acquire. So in order to push myself to always update my, uh, update with these new technology skills, I like making plans. So I have a book list that the book recommended by domain expert. And I require myself to finish reading one book once for two months. And also, I require myself to finish some other courses to get a certificate. And I also want to engage myself in some technical forum so I can meet more uh, experienced software engineers so I can learn from them. And also, I can get support or we can work together to tackle the uh, technical challenges. And I invite you to the office and even jump back to the home. I always also listen to some uh, technical lectures. So I want to, I try to build this uh, learning into my life, make it as a habit. Because I know it can inspire my personal life and uh, also my career development. And also, you know, we should have the positive work attitude. This is the driving force behind your career success. So in company, normally there are two types of employees. Uh, some employees are just content with uh, meeting their job requirements. But some of them, they would like to do more about the requirements also exceeded the expectation. So I, I would like to say the second type of employee can get their career success easily. And also, I personally also prefer to be the second type of employee. So when I face some problems, I would like to search multiple solutions and list each limitation and advantages. And then make a decision which one I should pick. Not just search a solution from the internet and then find one one implemented, let's say, no, that's not, that's not a good work, I mean, like, work attitude. So because I know my decision determines whether the product tends to good or bad. Right? So 
So don't give that to you know, this positive work attitude is really the driven force behind your career success. And uh, also, you know, you know, the team members, the team uh, member I choose for the key roles, always share the kind of features. They would like to take initiative in doing their work. I'm also I'm also myself, myself from having this uh, proactive attitude in my work. So I remember when I was just an engineer, so I didn't limit myself just coding or functions. So I know the feeling of product that the customer likes, that means you can contribute, that the product can be successful. So oh, I started to learn how to analyze user need, connect user need with software design. That's normally product manager does. And I also yeah. learned how to use some software design tools, uh, Figma or Illustrator to design our software graphic user mm -hmm. interface. Even that's not a natural responsibility. But I provide a lot of suggestions, insights to insights in how to build our software system. I think that's also part of the reason I was promoted to the manager later because this big contribution. And also when I was a manager of the software development team, I noticed that uh, our data scientist team and the data engineering team, they, they had some collaboration issue because of the data issues. You know, I'm not, I'm not I'm the manager of each for each team, but I feel some responsibility. I need a help to resolve the data issue and also to help these two teams to improve their productivity. So I approached our CEO and requested to collaborate with the data engineering team. My initial intention was not to supervise their work or to manage this team. I was I just want to you know, resolve the data issue and to improve this team's productivity. But I will say you can recognize my motivation and the commitment. He directly wanted me to the director of software engineering department. So this made me really believe that the company always a high value the employee who you know who have the proactive attitudes in their work also can function independently with a minimal submission. And, uh, and uh, now uh, we all know that, know that time and the emotion management is also important for your career growth. And uh, for, for time management, you know, I I do have some uh, uh, way uh, methods I want to share. You know, uh, normally, normally uh, I don't think it's, it's, it's really important whether you have to use some software tool to manage your tasks. And, uh, and uh, the point the is point that you need to put, put these tasks all together in one place. And, uh, and always remember to track the task progress, assure that you can make some progress with them or eventually make them down. I normally just categorize my task into two types. One is daily work, and one time is just a pure periodic work, uh, work. So for the daily work, you know, almost around the end of work, I review all the tasks. You know, that is really so good. When you check, you click the checkbox, make that work done. I like that feeling. And if, if some work I cannot finish, I would like to move them to the next day. Maybe I, I will uh, arrange a new task for that day. And if yeah. I know that some task, uh, I move them more several times. So I would like to spend some time to look at the reason and to try to provide the next time and uh, did, I, did I a similar type of work. And for the periodic work, uh, I would like to review them once a week or once a three days. So also, I did not complete all the tasks but eventually I can make them down one by one. And uh, I will not forget them. I will not miss them. Yeah. So this is the my experience I want to share how you how you manage your task. Because we all face the situation, we plan a lot, then struggle to find time accomplish, and then we forgot some task. So and uh, for the emotion control. Uh, 
I want to be honest, for emotion control, I didn't do my job well. So when someone outside is happy, I could be very easily emotional, upset, worried, and even angry. So in, in recent years, I got better because I attended some emotion management training. And I also put some rules for myself to use to control my uh, emotions. We should know why people really expose their emotion. We all want to be wise. So uh, that's some rules. I hope also these rules can help you to control your emotions. So when, if you feel emotion, keep smiling. Because sometimes your face also can impose your emotions. Just keep smiling. And hold back your response at least for five minutes. That's really amazing. Five minutes, you may be go from one kind of standards to another standards, from angry to the peace. And then you should be patient and take time to understand what exactly happened. And also, when you have different opinions, you know, don't directly speak up because at that time you may also raise some emotion. Stop by asking questions to your your part. Uh, your colleagues uh, and to understand their opinions uh, deeper a little more, then you express your opinion. This is uh, really good for when you work in the company. You will get a lot of respect. They they will they will feel you respect them. And also build a habit always have uh, always have a positive assumption in all situation. You know if you. When something happened, you really didn't know what you what is the context. Possibly you will assume it pass, uh, negatively, then you will be emotional. If you assume it as something as the positive, you will have different emotion. You will be different than you know feeling. Hopefully, this truth also can help you to control your emotion. So and I also like to uh, use some decoration to remind me to have the uh, active, uh, positive attitudes in my work or in my personal life. So I do like this calendar and this uh, almost uh, in Chinese, but I, and uh, this is the word each day really remind me a lot. I should have the positive attitudes and the behavior uh, for, for the daily life and work. So, so far, maybe you think I devote myself to my career development. I also invest, invest a lot in my personal life. I, I'm open to all the new stuff. I will try to develop interest in, in different areas beyond the engineer areas. I explore a lot of different areas, try to find business and investment opportunities. I invest in some properties, I invest in the market, I even invest in the cryptocurrencies. I've actually done a business partner. That I noticed that my uh, friends they are doing some cross border commercial. I was really interested in what they did. So I explored this area and also did some research to their business model, operation process. After I get some insight to their business uh, operation, I also gave them some good suggestions to improve their business uh, productivity. They like my idea, I usually they invite me to uh, become their business partner. I also I love doing some business, so I also had my own startup company. So we also build and develop the resale uh, app. I also provide this support service for the resale, this e-commerce. Now we are also building some app uh, as an uh, AI-based uh, uh, assistant shopping apps. So I just try to explore all the different areas to see whether there are some opportunity I can use my domain knowledge. And also from those investments uh, really in the strengthen my financial flexibility, uh, positive influence my financial situation. And uh, for me also, I think uh, 
is also very important to extend my social network. I want to get more opportunities to grow my personal life and uh, my business and also uh, my career. So personally, I didn't like to make friends through the social media. Social media. I like to uh, uh, make friends through existing friends. I also I want to like I would like to involve myself in some activities organized by the community because I can easily identify some friends who share the same common interest and value. And uh, I also think it is very important to have a sense of a social responsibility and justice. And uh, we should help our community development. And uh, you know, also, I think we should also take some volunteers' works. You know, then you can bring value to individuals or, or your society, or the society. When they will recognize your heart or your contribution, you will be acknowledged by them. You also can gain a lot of respect. So, you know, you will feel your value for this society. I think that's also some kind of achievement of feeling I, I like. So this is how I invest my personal life. Some experience I uh, want to share with you all. And you know, no, no matter how long successful you are in your career or in your uh, personal life, you know, we all know it's so important to keep health physically and mentally. Uh, just a. Uh, uh, in last months, I heard of two young friends. We are not very close friends, and uh, just died suddenly. They they were young. They were just about for just around forty five years old. That also made me think about you know, how important your your body health. So for me, I think it's good for us to incorporate this. Uh, some physical exercise into our daily life. You know, physical exercise can assure we have a body health. So, uh, it doesn't mean you have to go to gym and then that means you did a, you you do workout. You know, you you can find a piece of time to to do some exercise. For example, when you work for three or four hours, just stand up and walk in your office or even work from home. Just go in your home and to relax. And uh, for me, if I can walk, uh, for me, if uh, where I walk, if I can stand, I will stand. I, I know, know that will be good for my body. And also, I, I like uh, jump, uh, jogging around my neighborhood two miles and turns uh, three times for a week. I know how important to keep for my body health. Because there's a uh, body health provide me energy for my personal life and also uh, my work. We also know how important uh, there's a mental health. It looks uh, like it can be more and more important to keep your mental health. And uh, for me, I think, you know, and uh, we also always heard that people talk about uh, life is so short uh, and no need to be small or small and uh, be selfish. That's really true. We shouldn't be uh, distracted by some negative things. You know, we should try our best to make uh, our life in the happy. It's not hard to make your life happy. You know, you can make it as a habit. For example, when you describe something, always describe that thing as a fan. I think I'm good at doing that. My colleague and the friends sometimes I said, oh, you are funny, you are too funny. I think I bring some happy for them. I also, sometimes I feel happy. And now I think we can always think into use positive languages. You know, this language eventually will become part of your mindset and make it easier to stay happy or positive. And also, you know, make other people happy, also can make yourself happy. And, uh, and uh, try to do something nice to other people every day. And now have some friends, uh, they are in crisis, uh, 
I'll lend your hands on all projects without being asked for help. Or you can sometimes not give the order of surprise coffee to your colleague. You can make them happy. Meanwhile, you also can feel happy. So being happy can be a habit. So then you can be happy much easier. And uh, for me, and also, I would like to support myself with uh, uh, with the individuals who have the talent uh, or ideas or bring the constructive and the positive influence in my life. And uh, when I meet the new friends, I would like to tell you to list their personality and the quality of their interests and uh, what I appreciate uh, in them. That will make uh, this practice make me easy to identify and assess whether these people fit me well. I don't want this time with some people, you know, later they may bring trouble to me. So, uh, uh, I think we can build this uh, positive environment by ourselves. You know, try your best to make some effort to close to uh, some of our colleagues. Uh, they like their work, they enjoy a work, they always give you some constructive suggestion to improve your work. And in your daily life, also, you know, you can, uh, you can also always build a relationship with some people, they would like to encourage you and support you, instead, instead of always giving you some ne negative thinking or opinions. So, so once you can uh, compromise, your life with these positive, positive people, you will know you can really easily to stay also positive. So uh, that's all that the night I uh, I shared with you all. Hopefully, you know my friends and uh, uh, my life story can inspire you uh, to chase your uh, dream. And uh, also, I hope I will, uh, you know, have the positive attitudes uh, in your life or uh, in the future career and uh, to get the good, uh, greater success in your personal life and your career. Everyone, you can use the QR code to give the feedback on the top as well as there's a raffle at the end. So just save the raffle number, I'll be calling it out, okay? But I think now you can start your Q&A. Uh, also, if you have any questions at this time, I think our speaker accepting questions. Thank you so much for your motivational talk. It was very inspirational. And uh, I do have a question, actually, but I want to see if you really have time to question first with some of the students. Yeah, you are welcome to ask any question to me. Any question? Okay, go ahead. So when you work with other people, what are some issues that you might run into and how do you solve them? If you have to work with other people. Yeah, you know, my team members, they from different countries and different communities. I kind of work. I handle a lot of different uh, problems. So I don't want them to actually handle our issues in one way based on our personality, based on the problem itself. So I would like to take a different way to handle them. For example, my employees, and uh, they are smart, but they don't like all the office tools. But it's only for me to come and do their, 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 uh, job, their work. And okay, they may not know how to do the ministry of it. And for some, probably I really need a more than a more. They are they try to they try to not to work on people. They try to live if, if they can. So I mean you want to do this kind of people I to use a different way to manage them. Another way that for the human body probably they ask for the maturity level. Some are mature. You don't need a supervisor, no more. Some of the kind of middle level maturity. Too many of them are hard, are hidden. Some of the pieces are not mature. 
Se la mi vedi, 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 Also, we have to need a medical device and not just one of the kind of that's a good you. We don't have to do that. We 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 have to Thank you. Yes, go ahead. I thought you either you need to know some like technical details about your project. Also, you need to manage your team members. So how to do this balance between uh, knowing more like uh, stay up with the uh, sort of uh, techniques and uh, well manage your team members. Yeah, team lead, you have a, we, we have a technical team lead. So you, you are in that position, you do need to uh, know about the technical. You maybe should be the team level one, level two, and the expert for the technical. So uh, that was the team lead, so I, I that, that, uh, your task, I really look for her and she, Written the technical books allowed and do the uh, some collaboration as I mentioned I was involved in the technical form. I talked to them about it and tried to uh, understand the um, very tough question and solution. And also in technical economy, you have to systematically know uh, the solution. It's not a number of some engineer different from the technique. So some engineer this is a form of the internet. Now we have chat GPT. Or before we use a step a step overflow. They found out that's why we can different than that is. But team lead, you know, you have the bigger bigger picture. You have to understand all the combination connections. That means you have to have to read it and find a different solution, depending on which one is the manager to do so. When you work on that page, you shouldn't require you the number one among to the expert. You have to make your focus on more measures. But then the most important, you need to also find someone who can be the team maybe. That is them taking the key role for this team, the technical related work. Thank you. Any other questions? I have one. Okay. Yes. So you have two aspects of your personality. You're an immigrant and you're a woman. And then you have to go through your career trajectory to get to the position of a director. Which aspect was more challenging and which you had to struggle more to fit in or to present yourself as a leader? Because, uh, uh, so aspects, yeah, that you're an immigrant, you're from China, and you're a woman in STEM, which was more challenging, more challenging, as well as convince other people that I'm good enough. So. Uh, and, uh, yes. Oh, then you're, you're a female. Yes. Yes. Uh, um, so that's the one thing I want to show you. Yeah. So, uh, I, I, I think you know, it's not okay you have this identity as a woman, but it's important, important to, to, uh, uh, more than to use this identity. I think I ask you now, but uh, why do we some uh, meaningful effort to have to go So I know I know this, but I have to my technical problems and problems. Uh, make a man of my mind, but I never say, okay, let's get the uh, work. I don't know, I will have it. No, I'm very, I'm very active. 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 I'm very
So, could you please explain a little bit about what, what are we doing over there in the world? Yeah, uh, there is a image that I think that it's a based on social media, but that's also the really uh, kind of that's a video of animation in that presentation. So, in a moment, I have to say the picture, I have shown it. So, I like to use the picture, and also sometimes I draw some group.
I hope you guys did what I said as like part of your number. So I would call out to the number and what was the parents who had out the gifts. Yes, yes. So okay. you already select the name? Yes. I so I, before I would do that, there's this other prototype system that we are yes. testing. And uh, that's the one we're going to use today, but this is for test. So please, everybody participate in this one too. So we, we want to try to switch to a new system. Yes. But uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. So yeah. The, the first number is 52155. 52155. Five, five. Yeah. Okay. So our very first. Uh, uh, next one. Winner. Uh, <laughs> 97631. <laughs> The name. That's a one. The uh, name is Sambu. Sambu. Yes. Okay. The one. Okay. Thank you so much for having me. And the next one is uh, five three eight one. Five three eight one. I think I'm saying the name correct. The Z. The Z. The Z. The Z. The Z. The Z. Yes. Okay. Thank you. So I guess please everybody participate in this one too, just for testing purposes. No, 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 I'll just uh, compare my results. So please do that one too. Thank you very much. So then we have two more, right? Yeah, we have two more. We have two more. We have two more. Oh, sorry. No, I said five. The next one is you have some extra gifts. 17980. 17980. Yes. Okay. So the first is the one. <laughs> and the last one is nine six seven four three. Nine six seven four three. Nine six seven four. Oh, here, here. Thanks again for joining us. Thank you so much.